India's independence was a product of millions of people coming together to fight for its independence from the British colonial rule. Let us take a look at some such movements by the pioneers of freedom that led India towards its independence. The Rebellion of 1857, the 1857 movement was the first organized movement by the Indians against the East India Company. It was started in the form of civil mutiny by young soldiers of the Mughal Party. The use of animal breeds or cow beef with the cartridges of the newly introduced Royal Field Rifle was the main force. Soldiers had to bite off the cartridges, which hurled the religious sentiments of Hindus and Muslims. Three regiments of the army refused to use the ammunition of the newly introduced Royal Field Rifle and demanded that Bahadur Shah should take over as the ruler of India and lead the rebels. Rebels such as Nana Sahib, Nandan Kupi, and Rani Lakshmi Bhai continued the revolution started by the Purdue Army. This was the rebellion. If the deaf are to hear, the sound has to be loud, stated Bhagat Singh and Vajiteshwar Dutt at the trial for Bombay, the Central Legislative Assembly on 8 April 1929. These two young revolutionaries turned the deaf, aristocratic British towards a youth upheaval that changed the course of India's freedom movement. Bhagat Singh began to protest the British rule of India while he was still a youth and soon fought for national independence. He is credited for popularizing the catchphrase in Kalab Zindabad, meaning Long Live the Revolution. 1928, Bhagat Singh plotted with others to kill the police chief responsible for the death of an Indian politician, Lala Lajpat Rai. Instead, in a case of mistaken identity, junior officer J.P. Saunders was killed. Bhagat Singh had to flee to Lahore to escape the death penalty. In 1929, he and Batukeshwar Dutt bombed the Central Legislative Assembly at Delhi to protest and then surrendered. He was arrested and hanged at the age of 23 in 1931. Gandhi entered India from South Africa in 1915 and started organizing peasants and laborers to protest against oppressive colonial laws such as land tax and color specific rules. Gandhi soon led nationwide movement against British Empire, preached against non violence, championed women's rights, protested against untouchability, and mitigated terms between various religious communities. Gandhi started civil disobedience movement and salt satyagraha, where civilians were adjusted to follow certain laws. The non cooperation salt satyagraha and quit India was a twining point. The Bharat Shoro Andolan was the final nail in the coffin for British India. Jaya Gatha, Jalagana Mangala Daya Kajaya.